Hello there, this is Jay here from Jay's Vintage Junk and today we're going to have a quick look at this, it's a uh, ZX Spectrum uh, Plus 3 with the, uh, I don't know if you can see that very well in this picture, but with the 3 inch disk drive and what I am going to show you is how to load some software off uh, these 3.5 inch um, discs because the old uh, three inch discs, and I think I've got one on here, yeah. Like, this is actually for my, um, there we go. This is actually for my um, Tatum Geinstein, but uh, it's exactly the same type of disc as uh, the Amstrad. The, uh, the Amstrad CPC users, um, the CPC 6128 users, and um, the Spectrum Plus 3, the, obviously the Spectrum Plus 3, even though it's Sinclair, was uh, made by Amstrad at that point. They bought Amstrad out by that. Uh, I'll start again. Amstrad bought Sinclair out by the time the uh, Plus 3 uh, came out. I think they bought them out by the time the Plus 2 came out. Actually, I think that was Amstrad's first Sinclair um, Spectrum. But anyway, that is the type of disc that the um, Spectrum Plus 3 uses. It's a um, double-sided disc, as in it's like the old 5 and a quarter and 8 inch discs. You can... Uh, you put it in that way over and read off that side and if you want the other side you eject the disc flick it over shove it back in and you can use the other side so uh, you get twice uh, you use them twice basically use it on that side spin it over use it on that side but these are they were never brilliant reliable when they were um, current they're much better than things like micro drives and stuff but uh, they were never hugely 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 reliable I remember I had um, Back in the day, I had an Amstrad 6128 as my um, first computer, actually, my first proper computer that um, I was bought for by uh, my mother. Uh, and that used these, and I had quite a few in the day just fail, just drop apart. Um, after that, I had an Amiga, and that used discs like that. And yeah, they did still fail, they still did get reading errors, but they were nowhere near as much problem with this. And for the price of one of these, you could buy 10 of them. So these were expensive. Uh, they've not been made for many, many years now. Uh, all the ones you see on eBay are, generally speaking, um, old Amstrad PCW discs and things like that people are selling off. Um, you don't really know what condition they're in. I'll stick that away. I do keep a few because, like I said, I have a Tatum Geinstein, which I have no intention about modifying. I may do something similar to this with it, uh, but I use them on my um, Einstein. So for this, basically, for my I have an Amstrad um, CPC um, six one two eight, and for that I built this little unit here, which that's just a old one point four four meg PC floppy disk drive. Um, it's had a few modifications done to it. Uh, the case actually, um, that's an old three and a half inch external um, hard drive case where the um, the onboard um, control electronics went funny on it um, and fried it, so I pulled the hard drive out, put it in a new case, and it's a nice anodized aluminium um, case, so I use that for this. I think it matches quite nicely. Uh, actually, originally I built this for my Amstrad um, CPC 6128, but I found out that the Spectrum Plus 3, basically, obviously, it's very, very um, influenced by the um, Amstrads, it uses exactly the same external disk drive connector. As um, the Amstrad so just as a test I dug this out of the attic the other day this um, Sinclair because I got it years ago it's another of my car boot sale couple of quid purchases from probably early 2000s late 90s something like that it's been in the attic for years um, because I didn't have a power supply for it I keep meaning I'm going to build one because it's not too hard to build one if you know what you're doing but I never got around to it and then the other day while I was over away on eBay, um, I spotted that going reasonably cheap. It cost me about a tenner for a proper plus three power supply. So I got it. And I thought I'll have a go with the old Sinclair. So anyway, I tested the voltage out for they were what I was expecting. I plugged it into the Sinclair, powered it up, and I will show you. Now, bear in mind, I haven't made a RGB lead for this yet. I have actually just now 
there we go found a din plug which will uh, suit the Sinclair um, I've got to find the old SCAR cable I can hack the end off and uh, wire that onto it uh, so at the moment we are still actually running on um, RF uh, it's not actually a horrendous picture for RF that uh, the sounds a bit crap but um, it's enough to show uh, demonstrate this anyway so we know that basically the Sinclair works, I was quite happy with it. The three inch disc drive in it doesn't work. Um, all that's actually wrong with it, as usual, is the belt's gone, the belt's turned to um, goo. Um, I've got one on order, so I will be reinstating that and getting that working um, for the moment, because as soon as you try and access a disc, um, the motor just spins and spins and it makes a right racket. So for the time being, I've just disconnected the internal um, three inch disc drive. And if we look at the back of the spectrum, ooh dear, I'm tripping up here. Um, that I don't really want, if you can see, disc B there is where I have plugged my external drive in. Now, this drive, like I said, it's used on my um, Amstrad um, 6128. It's not a standard drive anymore. It has had quite a few modifications, namely these two switches here. Now, I'm just trying to switch to point. Well, I've tied my desk up so I've no random bits about anymore. That's that's not too bad. There we are. Right. That switch there, what that does is, on, as I said, on the old Amstrad discs, to get onto side B of the disc, you uh, took the disc out of the drive, you flipped it over and you put it back in the drive. Obviously, that doesn't work with these. Yeah? But what that switch there does, that one, Look it over like that, and it reads as um, drive. Uh, sorry, flick it that side like that, and that is um, drive. That's as though it's drive one. That's the top head on the uh, disc. And all you do, if you want to read the bottom head on the disc, what you do in the Sinclair of the Amstrad obviously is flip the disc over. You flip that switch across, and then it reads the bottom half, the bottom head of the disc. So it's a double, a double um, sided disc. And instead of taking the disc out to flick it over to um, see the other side, you just flick that switch there. The other switch, that switch there, put that onto side one. That switch is an AB switch. Now what that does, if that drive was working inside the computer, this would nat natively be drive B. But there's some software out there won't actually run from drive B. What that switch does, if you flick it that way, so if you have it that way, like that, that's just drive B. So that's drive A, sorry, that's drive A, that's drive B. You flick that switch in like that, now it swaps the two drives around. So now that becomes drive A, and that be, if that was working, that would become drive B. And it's just as simple as you switch it back like that, and that would become drive A again, and that would become drive B again. So you've got best of both worlds. It's also quite handy if you ever wanted to use this to transfer images from three and a half inch disc onto a three inch disc. You could do that. You could use it with a far. If you had a three inch um, disc with a format program on it, you could stick it in there and use it to format um, your drives using the actual um, Sinclair or the Amstrad. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of um, me loading a game with this thing on the Sinclair. What I was originally going to do is, in this video was to go into the software I use on the PC to actually um, do this, but unfortunately, there is the, you can't see it very well, but there is the PC that I do all my vintage computer bits on. It's um, an old knacker that I have um, built up, and it has all the software installed on it to do um, various disk formats. Uh, it has a proper parallel port on it, proper serial ports, and it runs XP, so it is actually usable. You can't even browse the web on it, even though it's a bit slow and a bit crap. It was a computer being thrown away. Um, but um, earlier on today, the old hard drive in it just died. I've dug another hard drive out, and as you can see, I'm currently uh, reinstalling um, XP on the thing, so I can get it working again, but... Up until that's done, um, I can't do that bit of the video, but I thought I'd still stick something up so I could show you um, it actually loading. Anyway, right, so first thing we do 
as we can see there's the uh, Sinclair loader you notice my new monitor I did have that old CCTV monitor I used to use on my workbench but um, I found some I found basically someone was throwing this out because it doesn't have a digital tuner in it that's the only thing that was wrong with it is it doesn't have a digital tuner in it but it has uh, VGA input, it has S video input, it has two lots of well, it's composite input, it's got um, a SCAR input as well with RGB on it. Um, so it's absolutely fantastic as a uh, as a test monitor. So yeah, I've got I've not got a remote control for it, so it doesn't have to fiddle about on the top to change between the different settings. But uh, hey ho, it was free. Anyway, let's get back onto this. So I've got my Spectrum up and running now. Um, what I will do is I will power up my uh, external drive. Now you will see the light comes on. You don't have to worry about that. It's just purely, these drives were never designed to be run with this hardware. Uh, the drive is hacked inside to make it run with this um, hardware and the drive ready, ready signal isn't quite what the drive's expecting. So it always has the light on there. It still works, it still reads and writes fine, just ignore it. But anyway, so we get our three and a half inch disk drive. Now that, I, on the PC, I have formatted that as though it is a Sinclair disk. And then I've used a piece of software I use, which is called um, CPC Disk XP. It's designed for the Amstrad, but actually um, the CPC Disk XP software works fine on a Sinclair as well. So I've used that to format the disk and transfer a .dsk um, disk image file off the web or wherever I've got it from onto um, the floppy disk so that is just a normal floppy disk if you watch I will put it in the drive obviously uh, with this being a plus three Sinclair it's got an auto loader so all I have to do is press enter and if you can hear the drive's going look there Let's see. What's the betting that it doesn't work this time because I'm being uh, cocky and decide. Oh, look, no, no, there we go. There we go, it's loaded. So, as you can see, you know, I'm not really into these uh, games, but let's have a look. Let's press Cobra, see what happens. There we go. That's loaded up, okay. And uh, there, there we go. And that is from that three and a half floppy there, loading the spectrum. I think that's about what I'm going to do for this for now. If anyone actually wants me to do a proper video on this, uh, showing how the software works, basically showing how I built the disk drive, um, will you just leave a comment in the comments section and I will actually uh, make a proper video for you if you want so you can see how this all works i'll dig the amstrad out and i will show um, some software running on the amstrad as well um right i think that's pretty much it for now um so thank you for watching and uh goodbye